Greetings, Preacher Rick with you with the Word of God. Give me that mountain. Amen. Give me that mountain was, were the words of Caleb, Joshua and Caleb. You all know who Joshua is. There's a book named Joshua after him. He took the uh, leadership of the Israelites over after Moses. He was the second. And so he, he and Caleb were the two of the 12 spies that Moses had sent to spy the land of Canaan that gave the good report. And they're the only two alive after they reached Canaan land because they dwelt in the wilderness 40 years because the people uh, were faint-hearted and didn't trust the Lord the way Joshua and Caleb had said so. But that's not the sermon today. I just wanted to kind of give you a reference of where the sermon came from. So let's look and see what, why we're saying, give me this mountain. I'm going to go to Joshua, the book of Joshua, the 14th chapter, the 10th verse. It says, And now, behold, the Lord hath kept me alive. And this is Caleb speaking. He'd already been speaking. The Lord has kept me alive, as he said, these 40 and 5 years. Even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. Amen. So that for a score is 20 years. So he's 85 years old. As yet, I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. Uh, as my strength was then, even so is my strength now uh, for war, both to go out and to come in. Now, therefore, give me this mountain uh, whereof the Lord spake in that day. Uh, for thou heardest in that day how that the Anakins, uh, the Anakims, uh, and that's the giants, uh, the same tribe uh, or family, I might say, uh, of uh, giants uh, that Goliath came from that uh, David ends up having to kill, uh, uh, how that uh, the Anakims uh, were there and that the cities were great and fenced. Uh, if so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, uh, as the Lord said. Uh, and Joshua blessed him and gave unto Caleb, the son of uh, uh, Zephune, uh, Hebron, for an inheritance. So he gave him Hebron. It was all promised from uh, Moses on uh, uh, for an inheritance uh, uh, to him and his children. Uh, and it was mountainous region. Uh, and it was very uh, uh, full of big people, uh, uh, big uh, uh, warriors. And uh, Caleb wasn't the least bit scared. He said, give me this mountain. Uh, and here he was, 85 years old. Uh, uh, you say, well, what does that have to do with you and I? You know, I've said many times, and I'll say it again today. Uh, the Old Testament uh, and the stories that God shared with us, the true stories he shared with us that happened uh, to his people back during uh, those days uh, are given to us for our learning. Uh, they're given to us for an example. The Old Testament is a schoolmaster unto us, uh, and it shows, and we must always keep in mind uh, that God never changes. Uh, he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, we all have mountains in our life. Uh, and, and some of them very hard to climb, uh, uh, you know, and uh, especially when we get older. Uh, uh, Teresa and I have discussed that quite a bit as we now are uh, uh, considered senior citizens, how uh, uh, the old body that we're living in, uh, it doesn't uh, want to function quite as easily as it did when you were young. Uh, uh, but here we read of a man, uh, uh, Caleb, who, who was just as strong as he was uh, uh, when he was 40. He was ready to go to war at 85 years old. Uh, uh, he, you know why? Uh, uh, because God gave him that strength. Uh, and, and you know, the physical strength that he needed uh, uh, might not be what we need today. I might need the physical strength someday, and you might. Uh, uh, but what we really need is spiritual strength. Uh, and what we can really take home from this uh, is that God will give us uh, the strength we need if we'll just trust him uh, and give a good report. Uh, uh, thank God. And uh, let people people know that we're not going to let uh, uh, the mountains of life get us down. Uh, uh, say unto this mountain, Jesus said, uh, if you have the faith as a grain of mustard seed, uh, you could say to a mountain, be thou removed uh, and cast into the sea and it shall be granted.
it. Uh, uh, well, you know, uh, uh, people would uh, kind of laugh at that uh, from a secular perspective, uh, uh, but uh, uh, from the spiritual side, uh, uh, that's quite a mouthful for us humans uh, uh, to think that we could say to a mountain, if we really had the faith, uh, I want you removed and cast into the sea and it'd be granted. Uh, uh, what, you really think anything's too hard for God? Well, all of us Christians know uh, that nothing is too hard for God, uh, uh, but we must do all things for the glory of God. Uh, and when we get settled in uh, to the scripture and we learn these things, uh, uh, thank God, then we can learn uh, uh, what mountains really matter in our life and uh, the things that come against us that need to be removed. Uh, a physical uh, mountain that has a snow cap on it uh, really doesn't interfere with our life. Uh, in uh, Caleb's life, it did. A uh, uh, mountainous region uh, interfered with his life. So he said, give me this mountain. Uh, thank God I'm just as strong as I ever was. Uh, uh, so what we can take home from this uh, is we might not have a mountain region uh, uh, as far as uh, uh, location on the earth uh, uh, that is... Uh, d- become a hindrance to us, uh, but our mountain may be something spiritual uh, that seems so hard to climb, uh, uh, something we don't know uh, 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 how exactly uh, uh, to conquer, but we can conquer uh, every mountain that comes our way uh, when we put our faith and trust uh, in the same God that Caleb did. Uh, uh, Thank God that he might give us the strength, the emotional strength, uh, the spiritual strength. Uh, uh, Thank God to overcome come evil with good uh, and to climb uh, uh, the mountain uh, uh, that is in front of us uh, uh, that has come against us whether it be uh, uh, a sickness whether it be a job uh, whether it be a church ordeal uh, uh, no matter what it might be it might be something in your family uh, uh, something you just don't understand uh, uh, something your kids or your grandkids are doing or going through or shouldn't be doing uh, or shouldn't be going through uh, and, and you know it's a a terrible ordeal. It's a mountain in your life. Uh, uh, well, what did Caleb say about that mountain? He said, give me this mountain. Uh, thank God I'll go uh, and conquer the Anakims. Uh, I will knock the giants down. Uh, I will defeat them. Uh, I will run them off. And we have to have that same attitude. Thank God uh, uh, there is uh, uh, something going on today. Uh, uh, drugs are eating our children up. Uh, there's many mountains and many Christians' life. Uh, Even Christians are resorting uh, uh, to... uh, uh deserting one another uh, and a divorce uh, amongst a husband and wife both that have served the Lord a long time uh, uh, but you need to confront this mountain head on with faith in your heart uh, thank God and you need to overcome evil with good uh, and you need to have that same attitude that Caleb did uh, uh, give me this mountain uh, uh, why uh, the same words that David would speak uh, against the giant Goliath uh, 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 it's not me it's God. I come against you in the name of the Lord. I thank God. And when you have the Lord on your side, one and God, or God and one is the majority. I thank God. If God be for you, who can be against you? Every mountain in your life can be conquered if you have the faith as a grain of mustard seed. And it can be removed and cast into the sea of God's forgetfulness. I thank God no matter what what your mountain is. Uh, uh, There may be somebody out there today that's uh, uh, really fighting a mountain uh, today. A mountain of disease uh, in your life or a mountain of being stricken with old age. Uh, uh, listen, uh, it can happen to anyone. David got uh, the man of war that he was uh, later in his life got stricken with old age. Uh, you could be someone there uh, that's listening today. The stricken with old age has become a mountain to you. Uh, you don't know how to deal with it. Well, just give it to God. Uh, thank God. Uh, give it all to God and have the faith. Uh, that same faith you have had when you were young. Uh, uh, Thank God you might not uh, uh, have a young body anymore, uh, but you got the same God you had then. uh, And thank God his promises are steadfast and sure. uh, And you can bank on it uh, that God's going to help you. Thank God. Over this mountain, 
And it'll just be good night in this world pretty soon and good morning in glory. And you talk about a glorious hallelujah time when we'll have a new body like unto his glorified body. You just got to hold on to your faith. There may be somebody else out there today that's fighting cancer or fighting some other terrible disease and you just don't know how to deal with it or somebody fighting with the death of a loved one, the great mountain in front of of you it's a uh, very very hard uh, and, and i don't disagree uh, uh, some mountains are much harder than others uh, and, and some mountains you have to have all the right equipment uh, and you have to have all the right strength uh, and exercise those muscles and you have to be ready uh, and follow the leader and know how uh, uh, to climb that mountain uh, uh, thank god forever well god gave us the instructions uh, how to conquer every mountain in life uh, uh, bless his love loving and holy name. I uh, uh, thank God I want to be able uh, uh, the same as Caleb in my last breath uh, uh, to say give me this mountain. I uh, uh, thank God of death. Uh, oh death where is thy sting? Uh, oh grave where is thy victory? Uh, I want to be able uh, uh, thank God to let my family know uh, to let my church know uh, to let the neighbors know uh, uh, thank God that my name's in the book of life uh, and I'm going to have a new body like unto him is. I'm saved. I shall conquer the mountain of death. I shall conquer the mountain of old age. I shall conquer the mountain of cancers and all heart attacks. I shall conquer the mountains that have come against me in this life. Why? Because I have Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith. And He's going to get me through. Thank God. He's going to help me to climb every mountain that's in my way be thou removed mountain and cast into the sea give me this mountain thank God give me the grace to get through every trial that comes my way give me the grace to grow old gracefully give me the unction and the strength that I need for my daily tasks bless his loving and holy name and you'll find that you can conquer, just as Caleb did, every mountain and every giant that's in the mountains, if you just put your faith at the foot of the cross. I could hear somebody saying, easier said than done. Well, from a carnal perspective, that would be true. But from a spiritual insight with Jesus as your captain. That's not true. And Caleb had that insight. And he gave a good report. And I'm here to give you a good report today. Jesus is still on the throne. And we have faith in him. We can conquer every mountain in our life. And every giant that tries to deny our God. In Jesus' name. This is Preacher Rick. We love y'all. Praying for you. Push that share button. God bless.